Ron Lauder is president of the World Jewish Congress, and he's joining us now. And Ron, it's, it's, uh, are we seeing the beginning of a third intifada over there in Israel? I hope not. Um, we should do everything we can to stop this. Um, this is, the question is, has the intifada ever stopped? Mm. But I don't believe this is the beginning of it. Uh, this, this could be, but I don't believe it will happen. And the fact is we must do everything we can now, um, both Israel, Palestinians, and the world, for example, to stop this and to say we must do everything we can for a two-state solution. Well, Mama Abbas has uh, called for the shedding of Israeli blood and they quote, the filthy feet of Jews can't be any longer on the Temple Mount. I mean, he's not exactly trying to make peace, is he? I've spoken with him and he told me he believes in a two-state solution. And then he says something like this, it's just the opposite. Mm -hmm. And we must do everything we can. He must stand up and say to his people, enough is enough, please. We need peace and we need a future. And for him to give a speech at the UN talking about the Oslo Accords and, um, and saying that they're no longer valid is again counterproductive. The fact is that um, the Palestinians must understand that the future, their future, depends on this two-state solution, and everything that's being done is against it. Well, I understand that the uh, Israelis, Bibi Netanyahu and others, have offered to them uh, concessions, extraordinary concessions, but based on a, a, some kind of a bilateral treaty, now they have gone directly to the UN to say you must force a solution on Israel whether they like it or not. Now, is, is that going to go down well with the Israeli people? Look, the Israeli people uh, want a two-state solution, but as time goes on, they believe uh, more and more that it will not be possible. Now, what's happening also um, is that very often uh, what is being attacked of on the, on the behalf of the Jewish people, is also an attack on the Christian people mm -hmm. because they're really in talk, talking about the fact of who belongs there. Um, this is a Jewish, Christian, Muslim place as well as, must be all three, we must all live together. That is the critical question. And the leader, um, the leaders have to be able to do it, particularly the Palestinians, they must be able to say, Enough's enough. And when children go out and kill because they want to be martyrs, mm -hmm. what does that say? And when, when Abbas gives a speech about uh, one, one child being killed, executed, and then it turns out the child is in a hospital, an Israeli hospital being treated, what does that say? We must do what we can. But also, I, I was watching MSNBC this morning, and it says, Jewish extremists cause problems. And you, you read in certain papers, two Palestinian youths killed. They don't say that these are terrorists who, who stabbed somebody 15 times. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, we must understand that this is a question of people being incited to, to create violence. You know, I, I met several times with Yasser Arafat, and. Uh, Arafat didn't want peace. Uh, he got money from the other Arabs by causing trouble. And the original intifada was his deal. I mean, he had everything that was, every concession Israel could possibly give him. And he still wanted to fight. And uh, I wonder if the leaders feel the same way as he did. Well, I must tell you, um, I've never met with Arafat, but I have met with Abu Mazen. And I will say to you that uh, he's told me he wants peace. He wants a two-state solution, and he would like to find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, sometimes um, there are outside forces that push him to go one way or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, the real aspect is, if he was able to stand up and say, I want peace, I want to be able to find a way with Israel, it would change dramatically the whole uh, scene. But when he gives a speech at the UN talking about um, getting rid of the Oslo agreements and changing things, it doesn't help. Mm -hmm. Pat, can I say one more thing? Yes. I've been fighting strongly about talking about what's happening to Christians in the Middle East. 
They're being killed. They're being pushed out of their homes. Mm -hmm. And we hear nothing about it. And I ask you again, why are we hearing nothing about the killing of Christians all over and destroying of, of all Christianity out, outside the Middle East? And the fact is, we Jews have learned what happens when the world is silent. Well, and this is what's happened. Well, I think there are not many people who are aware or really concerned. You look at a city like Mosul, this is 100% Christian, and suddenly there are no Christians left. I mean, it's like the uh, Muslims want to eradicate. It's, it's genocide and a major uh, issue going on, and the world is silent. And uh, I, they're the voices like mine, but uh, I'm just one of uh, a few that are standing up for the uh, rights of the Jewish people and the rights of Christians. But I, I think we need to stand together in this, and I'm glad we are. That's the key thing. We need to stand together, and we need to speak out. Silence and indifference are the greatest enemies of both the Jewish and the Christian values, and we must speak out. And I thank you very much for the words you've said in the past. Well, thank you. On behalf of the Jewish people, we thank you. Well, together we're friends, and I'm glad uh, we're going to stand against oppression, whatever comes. And thank you for being with us, Ron Walter. Thank you. Honored to be here.